hungry. Quiere decir hambriento o tener hambre. Cuando tengas hambre, puedes decir I'm hungry. Si tienes mucha, mucha hambre, puedes decir I'm very hungry. Como este caterpillar. ¿Por qué tendrá tanta hambre? ¿Y qué irá a comer? Let's read the story. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. The Very Hungry Caterpillar Cada vez que leas este cuento, repasa los días de la semana. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Y pon mucha atención a todas las palabras nuevas que vas aprendiendo. Apple, pears, plums, y mi página favorita, chocolate cake, ice cream cone, pickle, cheese, salami, mmm. Gracias por leer conmigo en inglés y hasta la próxima.